Yes, sir, back at it again with another J and J family video, and it's your boy, Josh. And it's the girl, Jenny. Yeah, so as you can tell by the title today, we're doing the holiday tag. I didn't really know what a holiday tag was. Jenny had to kind of explain it to me. Obviously, before we even start the video, you know we gotta give you guys that little uh, drop of Jesus. So Jenny's gonna go ahead and give you that. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you abound in hope. And that is Romans 15, 13. Yes, sir. And before we even start the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so the next time that we drop a video, you guys can be notified. And also, thank you to these three people right here for being part of our Noti gang. We really, really, really do love and appreciate you. Go ahead and comment down below where you guys are watching this from. And then maybe you guys could also be put in our next video. Because, again, this is day two of Vlogmas. Yes! That's I crazy. love Christmas time. Anyway. I'm weak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to ask 10 questions. We both are being asked the same questions, and we're just going to answer them. And they all have to do with holiday. That's why I'm called holiday tag. <laughs> anyway. I'm weak. All right, go ahead. Okay, so what is your favorite holiday movie? Home Alone. Easy. Which one? Oh, oh, it's Loki between two and three. Really? Yeah, I really like the first one. But, like... I think the third one is when, when like, they all take a flight, right? And he gets left behind. I don't know why, but that one is super duper funny to me. The last one is trash, though. Home Alone 4. Oh, gosh. That one is weak. Yeah, that, they should have cut that. Loop. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> they like, really try to do that with movies. Like, keep it going that and, one like, is garbage. let it die down. That one is really, die. really garbage. My favorite Christmas movie is probably either Polar Express or the the Grinch, I was about to say, she the loves new one. Polar Express. The new one that we saw? Yeah, that, that one was, was I really liked the musical in that one. I, I'm not really a big fan of the Grinch, but that one, I really liked. We saw liked. that one last year, right? Yeah, we saw it, no, the year before, I think. Because no, it's it a 2018 movie. It was last year. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, well, shoot. Yeah, that is a really good movie. But Polar Express, comment down below if you like Polar Express. Everyone tells me that that movie's really boring. He thinks it's boring, but I think it's... It's cool, know. but I, I'm not going to lie. I'm not the type to rewatch it like 20 different times. Oh, yeah, I can. I don't know if it's just like a childhood memory kind of thing or why, but I just really like that movie. Okay, next question. Do you like to stay in your PJs or dress up for Christmas? Like, which one do you prefer? Dress up. Really? For Christmas? Yeah. I like to stay in my PJs. <laughs> I, like, I like going out, so most of the time... Since I've been a young kid, we always went out somewhere for Christmas. Whether it's we was going to families, at like uh, gatherings or parties, or when I got older, we had like our own Christmas parties with our friends. So I was always dressing up. Oh yeah, well I mean I always go over to my mom's side um, for the past Christmases, but we would only like I guess we would kind of dress up, but, like casually dress up, because we had like we would always for my family we would always go to the cemetery to visit like my grandparents and. We would do that on Christmas Day, but I would always dress comfy because every time that we go, it's like usually raining on Christmas Day or it's like ugly weather. So I don't want to like mess up my good shoes and stuff. But also, because I just like being comfortable all day, every day. <laughs> okay, third question Do you open presents on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning? Uh, Christmas. I mean, the older I got, the more we started like playing the system so like first it was like our parents would only let us open it on christmas morning mm -hmm. then it was like christmas eve at midnight and then uh, we started then we started pulling like i remember one year me and my sister we pulled the card like oh we always open our presents on christmas eve so let's open them on the eve of christmas eve so on midnight on the 23rd we, we got in so much trouble i don't think you understand our parents were hot that we opened it that day yeah so usually christmas eve like at midnight for us it's usually christmas morning but you get to open one gift on christmas eve so you get to open one gift, but then you can't like ask to open like all your gifts. Mm. So you better choose wisely <laughs> which gift you get. Right. You just shake it a little bit. So you you figure know. out which one it is. Yeah. Fourth question is, what is your favorite Christmas smell? It could be like a candle. It could be like anything. 
It doesn't even have to be. I don't really have a favorite Christmas smell. Really? Yeah. Mine is, um, what is that? It's like, gin I like the smell of ginger. Like ginger, I think it's gingerbread. Like bread. gingerbread? Oh. I yeah, like, like gingerbread. Ginger. Kind what? of, I like that smell. There's like literally a thing from Bath and Body Works so that literally is called like holiday. Mm. And it's a holiday scent. I don't know what it is, but it smells bomb. It just makes me get into the Christmas spirit. That I'm makes like, sense. The fifth question is any Christmas wishes. So what are your Christmas wishes? I want my daughter. <laughs> well, I want my I want my daughter bad. No, I want her if I could have her right now, but I'm not trying to send Jenny into no freaking labor this very <laughs> second and God's like, I'm gonna answer your wish. Like no nah. but if I could have my daughter right now, I would so if I could get her for Christmas, that would be the greatest Christmas gift I've ever received in my life. So that's my that's my Christmas wish, honestly. My Christmas wish. Honestly, not even to sound like super touche or like freaking corny. I don't have any Christmas wishes because I feel like I really have everything that I want. Like I'm having my daughter, our daughter come into the world. I have family on both sides. Like his family is my family and my family, like they're both loving and supportive, I have supportive friends. I feel like got a roof over my head and like, I feel like I have all my wishes. I feel like as a kid, I used to be like, oh, I want this baby born doll. I want this. You know, like I actually had specific things, but I don't have anything this year. I feel like I'm, I just feel really blessed, even though this year has been full of some crazy, crazy stuff. events. Crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah. Sixth question, which holiday do you celebrate? So do you celebrate Christmas Eve and Christmas? Day. Some people celebrate one or the other. I think, I think my family kind of does both. Like, yeah. well, no, we'll celebrate Christmas Eve, but like, we'll, like, it'll be like we'll go to one side of the family, and that's how we spend Christmas, and then Christmas Day we go to the other side of the family. So like, mm -hmm. when my parents were still together, like Christmas Eve we might go and be with my dad's side, and then Christmas Day we go to my mom's side. Mm -hmm. So you always like alternate. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Spend with both both sides of the family and all that type of stuff. But then when they separated, it's kind of still the same thing. It's like now we go and spend time with the, with my dad and then my mom the other time. You understand what I'm saying? Like that's mm -hmm. the way it is. I feel like it's a little different for me. I would, because I'm not really close to my dad's side of the family. Mm -hmm. So we would always just go with my mom's side on Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. But what we would do is like on Christmas morning, we would spend it with our immediate family, like in the mornings, open gifts and da da da. And then we would go after and hang with all of our extended family mm -hmm. and hang out. So that's how we would usually do it. What are you doing for the holidays of this year? I mean, shoot, we're just preparing for this little girl to get here. Like, <laughs> honestly. At that point, like, if she's not popping out at that point, that's when we're just on our toes, like, mm -hmm. just waiting, you know what I'm saying? Like, not, not to sound weird or anything, but it's not like I'm not in the, like, Christmas spirit. I'm just so focused on, like, us about to be a parent, like, I could care less. Like, I'm still gonna get, obviously, Jenny Christmas gifts and do all that the type of that. I'm just saying that's not like the first thing that's on my mind. So like for Christmas, I'm gonna just be more worried about like, is Jenny good? Like you need help with anything? Like if anything's kicking off, let me know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm, I'm, I'm ready, like I'm playing football. I'm ready to catch that thing if it's coming out. So that's pretty much how it is for me. Yeah, I feel like holidays are really different this year. Like there's a lot of pros and cons. Like it's just the fact that you can't be with all of your family because of this pandemic. But then this is our first Christmas spending it together as in like living together. So like, you know, but then it's like under those circumstances of a pandemic, it's different. And then we also have our daughter coming. So I feel like I'm just, I feel like I'm the same as Josh. I'm focusing on like when she's, cause we don't know when she's gonna come. Like, okay, there's an estimated date. But that doesn't mean she's gonna come at that day. She can come Thanks. sooner, she can come later. She can get, like it really just, you have to just really make sure you have your hospital bags ready. And I point. just gotta be, you gotta be prepared any day <laughs> to yeah. give birth to her. But I'm honestly really excited. What's your favorite Christmas color? I mean, I don't wanna say green, cause like I low-key like grew a hate for the color of green. Cause <laughs> like, that's like, that's my high school's like, color it's not like i don't like my high school it's just like we had to wear green so much like i don't i didn't want to wear green no more when i graduated but i'm not really fond of the color red like that not like on the weird stuff just like like I, on you 
No, like, I'll wear red, but, like, as my favorite color, it's never been, like, oh, I'll always pick red, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I always view red as, like, a dark color. I don't really like, mm. like, dark, like, colors yeah. like that. So, I would say, like, green or gold. I don't know if gold's a Christmas color, but green yeah, or gold. Yeah, gold, silver. Something I like feel that. like my favorite Christmas color is actually red. I think, I like, when I think of red, I think of either it being dark or but if, like, red in this time, it, it reminds me of Christmas. Because if when you decorate your house... Mm and everything red is a very common color that people decorate their house with because it gives off that like christmas vibe so i feel like i really like i don't really like green that much on my skin tone i'm being honest unless it's like an olive green but that's not considered <laughs> that's not considered a christmas color mm. olive green it's more like winter green i think yeah it? candy canes or gingerbread neither neither i don't like any of those really not even gingerbread okay honestly guys candy canes i'm not the biggest candy cane person like i don't like the minty ones i like kind of the sweet sour ones but i do like gingerbread i just don't like decorating like i don't like eating it trash. with the decorations on oh, it that is garbage candy cane gingerbread i don't really like holiday candy like for halloween candy corn like if you eat candy corn you have a problem you hate yourself you have a problem <laughs> I'm not trying to make fun of nobody because maybe you actually do genuinely like candy corn. I guess everyone's different. They make it for somebody. It's just not. Yeah, for candy me. corn is so nice. I tried it as a kid and then I tried it as an adult and it's still I even, just disgusting. I don't, even, I don't even remember when I tried it, but I tried it. I, that's the way I am though. I'll try something once and it, I could be three years old. If I didn't like it, I will never try it again in my life. I don't really? remember the I don't remember the last time I even tried a banana. But I know when I tried it it was nasty. I've oh, never tried never it again. Never. It's been Disgusting. years. What is your favorite holiday drink? You know what's funny? I've never tried eggnog. I don't plan on it. Isn't that but I think I think they have alcohol in it and then they have non alcoholic ones, but I've never tried it. But my favorite holiday drink I would just have to say like hot chocolate. <laughs> I really like hot chocolate. Like, but I have to be in like a crazy mood for it. We were just at the store yesterday and Jenny was like, do you wanna get hot chocolate? And I looked at it and I was just like, not today. Like maybe next week or like closer when it gets closer to Christmas, but not right now. We live in Cali, like it don't even really get cold like that. Like we complain when it hits 60 degrees. You complain when it That's hits 60 degrees. That's what I'm saying. Degrees. Like it's not really that bad. It's not like cold where you need hot chocolate, but yeah. it's like, oh yeah, it's 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 December. I'm gonna Yeah, I feel like my favorite holiday drink would probably be hot chocolate too. I just for me, like I'm just the same as Josh. I have to be craving it. Like sometimes I want it once. And then, you know, when you go to the store, they come in packets. So it's like, I'm not trying to, and it's just two of us, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to have like 20 packets of hot chocolate. I'm only gonna, we're only gonna use two, Thanks. if anything. So that's why I like, Starbucks has really good hot chocolate. I like their hot chocolate, but I feel like you really can't mess up hot chocolate. And that is all the 10 questions for our holiday tag, yes, Vlogmas sir. Day 2. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications so you can be notified every single time we post a video. And comment down below what your favorite Christmas movie is. We want to know if we haven't seen it, maybe we'll watch it. And oh, then if sure we have that. seen it, then we'll just be like, yo, we on the same team over here. So let's keep might let you know if it's weak though. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> That's too, because honesty is the best policy. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys have a good day. We'll see you guys tomorrow.